example, Chicago today, do you think that there's still a code out there about not snitching? Or do you think that once, once they start changing the laws um, and start giving like, you know, low, low end dealers 20 years for a bag of crack that, that at that point, everyone just start telling on each other. <laughs> oh no, man. Oh, man, this shit crazy out there, man. There's a lot of people telling because they, uh, <laughs> like it'd be the tough people that be telling though, you know what I'm saying? Like 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 the, the leaders and the, and the tough, like the people that actually put in all the work that be telling because I guess they be feeling like, nigga, shit, I, I'm so-and-so, you know, I, I'm this guy, I'm, I'm tough. Who the fuck gonna do something to me? Like, if I, like they know if they tell, shit, like, like they already the, you, the tough guys, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. Have you man. seen situations where, where someone's cooperated with the police and they got out and got killed? Mm. Uh, I can't keep talking. I can't talk about all that. Black. <laughs> Fair enough. No, I mean, I'm, I'm not asking for no names. I'm, I'm just saying, like, is that the mentality in Chicago? Like, if you cooperate with the police when you get out, you might get killed. Hell yeah. From your definition, like, like I, I remember I just interviewed AZ from, uh, you know, you ever see the movie Paid in Full? Yeah, that's my favorite movie. Ace yeah. from Paid, Paid in Full, his real name is AZ Faison. Okay. So, so he had a situation where... His sister's boyfriend got out of prison. Uh, he gave him some money, you know, and some work just to, to kind of get him going. Mm -hmm. And and he realized that okay, well, there's a lot more money over here. So remember that whole scene where where uh, Ace got you know got shot in the head and robbed and everything else like that. Like yeah. all that really happened. So he got shot nine times. A couple of his relatives got killed, yeah. um, and you know they, they they took they took some of the money and so forth. He ended up working with the police, and basically getting, you know, help helping the police get get the dude who who shot him and killed killed his family members, you know, put in prison. Yeah. Do you consider that snitching, or do you consider that uh, definitely. almost helping the community? Definitely, man. Any anything you do with them people is snitching, man. You you don't talk to a, a police. You don't cooperate with them. I don't care if somebody shot your mama. I ain't I ain't calling no police. I'm not talking with them. I don't know nothing. I don't care if I seen a dude dead in the face. I know his full name. I'm not telling the police nothing. Really? Yeah. See, you you mean to tell me? That if I walked up to your mother right in front of you and shot her in the face, yeah, and then I, I left the country and you could never, you can't get to me, you Hell wouldn't no. tell the police. Hell no, I'm, I'm, a, I'm where your mama stay at? <laughs> <laughs> Is she in the neighborhood? No, you, 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 you can't touch me. I'm, I'm untouchable. There's, there's nothing you could do in your situation to get back at me or anyone around me. You just you just don't have you don't have the means to do it. Nah, man. So you got to just take it as a hey, I'm not you can't Nah, you don't talk to the police, man. <laughs> okay. What, what 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 if what if there was someone who lived next door to you and was let's say killing little kids? Nah, man, you don't talk to no uh, I ain't talking to no police. I know that, but if somebody next door talk, you, you know, you know who who tell a lot women. <laughs> they okay. call the police in the heartbeat. I know my mama. She she call the police on anybody. If you standing in, in front of her yard for too long, she calling the police. I I ain't talking to no police. Period. I don't like police. So th there is there, there is no situation. So you're saying if someone was molesting kids in your neighborhood. You wouldn't call the police on him. No, see, I probably do something to him myself. I ain't finna. So, so you 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 would put okay, you would put your own safety on the line. You would put your freedom on the line because here's the thing: if you go and kill somebody, it don't matter what what what, what that person did. You you still got a murder charge, right? Yeah. 
I ain't if gonna someone was out, the, the was out raping little kids, like, you go and kill them. You go to prison for the rest of your life. You would rather do that than, than call the police on this person and put and put put the sick motherfucker away. That happened. Look, Vlad, I'm, I'm gonna tell you one story. It was like this dude in the alley, right? In Chicago, it was this dude in the alley, and he was looking through somebody's window. He was masturbating and stuff, right? You know, it, he was looking okay. through a lady window, and we caught him doing that, and we beat, we beat. We beat him so bad, Vlad. Like, we beat him so bad for that perv stuff. No, nah, I'm not calling no police, man. If you got one of those people in the, in the neighborhood, nah, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, man. Joshua, what are you? <laughs> if I had Jared Fogle living next door to me, I would call the cops. I'd be dialing like this, hey, man, I seen a 12-year-old go in this motherfucker's house. <laughs> You supposed to kill him get, yourself, get him, get, get, get him the fuck out my fucking block <laughs> right now. I do not want this nasty motherfucker anywhere near me. Fuck that. Look, hey, look, when you call the police, right, let's say he found a way to get away, and then he going to think like, man, that was probably my neighbor, and he come back for you. I'm ready for that. I got guns <laughs> all in my house. You know what I mean? Hey, you, you come in my house, I'm going I'm to shoot you. Like, you know what I mean? They don't call the police. Okay, <laughs> but but I, I I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, I I understand that the street code, and I've I've had conversations with people about this, and and I understand that the never calling police thing. I, I just think that there are certain situations that you shouldn't have to to handle. I mean, because at the end of the day, you live in legal right now. You, you pay taxes. Yeah, and and so you're paying for the police. You personally are giving money to the police department. Man, I don't like to think of it like that, man. <laughs> but, but it, I mean, whether you want to think about it or not, that's the truth. You, part of the tax money that you pay in is going directly into the police department, 100%. Vlad, I hate the police, Vlad. I hate them. <laughs> I just hate them, man. So I you never them. met a good cop? Nope. I met one that tried to act like he was good, and he still locked me up. If your house got robbed, you wouldn't call the police? <laughs> See, look, hey, look, that, 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 if you got the jury and everything is short, man, and somebody robbed a crib, you got you to gotta make a report, man. <laughs> right, I mean, yeah, yeah, because if your shit's I, insured, I hate to do you it. Just, you know, when you, when you called, because, you know, my shit's insured, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like I, I got jewelry, I got artwork, all that shit. And when you call your insurance company, the first thing they say is, let's see the police report. Yeah, man, I hate to do it, man. I hate, I hate it, man, but I have to do it, man. <laughs> right. If your car gets stolen, what do you have to do? Huh? You're supposed to call the police, man. man. Let's call Come the on, police. Man. Ain't nobody stealing my car, Vlad. Nobody stealing my car, Vlad. A person doesn't ask to steal your car. Ain't nobody stealing I mean, my car, Vlad. The person doesn't ask to, to, steal, to, to rob your house. I mean, I've had my house robbed when I was, when I was younger, you know, when I was in high school. Yeah, uh, that shit. That shit's fucked up. You know, and I, I call the police. You know, you gotta call them, Vlad. But that's the only way you should be calling them if your house get robbed. Look, I work with them on Mad. Mm -hmm. Good guys. Mm -hmm. Good heart. Good guys. Give you the shirt off their back. <sighs> is it? Is it ironic? Is it, is it a coincidence that they both? Most of their friends are white and got white wives. They like white women, I, I mean. Then they develop envy because they go home. They get out the car with, they, with, with, with their friend, with their other partner, and he listening to your music. They walk in the house, they girl listening to your music. They go downstairs, the kids doing a dance to your music. Now they are hypnotized with hatred. 